vlogger showing in the camera. Hello my little jewels. Hope everyone's having a nice day so far. So I figured I haven't done a fashion video in a really long time. And one thing that I really love doing is I love thrifting. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've made a thrift haul or thrifting video at all on my channel yet. So I was like, perfect thrifting fashion. Boom. Also guys, I know you all keep asking for more paranormal videos and so I have a bunch of stories I can tell you. I probably have a solid, I don't know, maybe around a dozen stories that I have, you know, here and there if I sit down and write down all of my paranormal experiences, but I don't want to just throw them all at you at once. I want to kind of space them that way I don't run out of them and you guys are like, well, so that's it. No more paranormal stories. So. I do have plenty more coming guys. As a matter of fact, I think my next video I upload will be a paranormal story and that one's gonna be about, I grew up in a house and my closet was pretty freaking haunted. So that's gonna be my next paranormal story time. If you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to go ahead and hit that button. Come a part of my YouTube family. Lately I've been calling you guys my little jewels cause a subscriber actually mentioned that to me and thought of that idea. And I was like, I love that idea. You guys are my little jewels. So if you wanna become a little jewel and you are not yet, go ahead and do that by subscribing. All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you a couple pieces that I've picked up from some thrift stores here and there. And I'm gonna go ahead and try them on for you and show you kind of how I would style them. Thrift stores can be kind of tricky to find those pieces that you're actually gonna wear. And I've definitely come home from thrift stores with pieces and thinking like, oh, I really liked this, but then I don't know how I'm gonna wear it and I end up never wearing it. So I wanted to show you guys kind of what I envisioned when I first bought these pieces. So let's get started. The first thing I picked up is this super cute Gap denim skirt. And throughout this haul, I went to two different thrift stores. I went to a Savers, which is a pretty big franchise thrift store. So you might have one in your town, but if you don't, it's just kind of like, mm, I don't know, similar to a Goodwill type thing kind of, but they always have really good sales and they happen to have 50% off all clothing, accessories, and shoes one day. So that's how I got such good deals on the clothes from there. And the other thrift store I went to is called Plato's Closet. They have, um, I think two locations here where I live, but basically Plato's Closet, they're kind of super picky about what kind of clothing they take in. They wanna make sure it's trendy and in. However, sometimes I have a hard time finding like stuff that I like there. I don't know. I just feel like they're kind of too mainstream mall clothing sometimes. But yeah, anyways, so the first piece I did pick up at Savers. They had that sale going on and this skirt was originally $5.99. So I got it for like three bucks and it is from Gap. It is a little bit big in the waist for me. I always have that problem anyways, but I just thought it was so cute. Denim skirts are so in right now. Like a lot of the 90s styles are really coming back, which I did pick up a couple pieces kind of from that era you'll see. But anyways, I really love the button down skirts. That's my favorite. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, perfect. I love it. I have to have it. And I did go ahead and pair this with a black crop top and a black belt. This would also look super cute with a white shirt, honestly a bodysuit. Denim skirts are pretty universal, so you can pretty much pair them with anything. And I thought for three bucks, I'm happy to bring this home to my collection. The next thing I picked up from Savers is also kind of from that, oh and my hair all over it already. <laughs> But this is kind of also from the 90s coming back and it's the overall trend. And I found this and I thought this was so cute. This kind of just brought me back to like kindergarten. I remember I always used to wear overalls, overall dresses, overall pants. My cousin Sasha and I actually used to take our overalls and unclip them and like clip them to each other when it was time for one of us to go home. And we would tell our parents like, we can't leave, we're attached. But yeah, anyways, overalls are just so nostalgic for me and I thought this was so cute. I like that it's black and it's kind of different than your average denim overall and it is a dress. This actually was from, oh, it looks like it was originally from Love Culture and this one was originally $11.99 so I paid about six bucks for it because it was half off. I really like how it has this open back here. You can kind of play around and do a lot of things with this dress. How I paired it is I just wore a plain black bandeau, bandeau bandeau underneath you can also wear bralettes underneath you can wear a tank top you can even wear a short sleeve t-shirt under this and because it's black especially it's just so versatile and I thought this was such a good find 
The next thing I picked up from Savers is this gorgeous, uh, like kind of like a peachy mauve copper color. I don't know, I was in love with this color, but it's by Ann Taylor Loft. And it is just this kind of plain, nice, flowy, airy blouse. I love these type of shirts for work. They go really great with a pencil skirt or some slacks. They're kind of nice and light and cool, but still like cover you up. I don't know, I've just been really into these button down blouses. And this was $5.99 at Savers, so I got this for $3. In this video, I paired this with some nice plain white jeans with some ripped detailing on the knees, along with some silver accessories. I just love pairing silver with this kind of color. I think it just complements it really nicely. You can roll the sleeves up, you can roll the sleeves down. This is just a really nice versatile piece to have in my closet. Alrighty, so the last piece I picked up at Savers is this striped crop top t-shirt. Again, I feel like horizontal stripes have been really in lately for this spring and summer, and I've really been on the hunt lately for just a nice, plain striped t-shirt. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's perfect. It's cropped, but I think this will look really cute with a nice skirt. This would also look really cute with that denim skirt I bought. However, I did go ahead and pair this with a nice black denim button-down skirt. I liked the black better just because I feel like it looks cleaner and more pulled together and then I just went ahead and put some sunglasses on my neck for a nice casual cute summer outfit and this guy was so cheap I think it was originally like $3.99 so I got it for two bucks you can't beat that and actually the tag is ripped off so I honestly don't know which brand or what size this was but it fit good and it was cheap so it came home with me now we're gonna go ahead and jump to the next thrift store I visited, which was Plato's Closet. And this place is a little bit more pricier for a thrift store, so I didn't get as great of deals, but I did pick up some really nice pieces that I really liked. I also took in some of my clothes to sell to them as well, so I think I got like 50 bucks for all the clothes that I took in, so I didn't mind paying a little extra for these pieces. The first thing I picked up is, again, it's actually another Ann Taylor Loft shirt, and it's really similar to the other one that I picked up from Savers, however, it's kind of a nice nudie blush color once again I love these button-up shirts this one I think I paid seven bucks for but I just really like these button-down shirts like I said I can wear them to work I actually paired this one with a pair of nice light jeans and a gold little necklace for a nice like casual but put together summery vibe even though I was wearing jeans and this is long sleeve like I said it's really nice light and airy so it's not too hot at all this one I really, really liked and was excited to add it to my wardrobe. The next thing I picked up is this really pretty light baby blue tank top. This is actually from the brand called Ambience, which I think they sell this at like either Marshalls, TJ Maxx or Ross. I don't know, I see that brand there a lot, I don't remember. So six bucks for this isn't too bad, I guess, I don't know, but I just really fell in love with this embroidery detail. I really like how it comes with a little slip underneath so it's not completely see-through. And just the bottom, I don't know, just look how gorgeous these little details are. I love the bottom. And this I figured was pretty versatile as well. I could pair this with a nice khaki colored pencil skirt for work. Or what I also really like to pair this with is some blue jeans that are kind of the similar color to this along with a blue denim necklace. I've really been into kind of matching sets lately, and even though they're technically jeans and they don't really match, they're the same colors, and then putting it with the denim choker necklace, I don't know, I just really like how that matchy-matchy look looks sometimes. And I figured this color was perfect for the summertime. Alrighty, on to the last item in this haul, and it is going to be this really cool t-shirt. That's one thing about thrift stores is you can always find such unique cool t-shirts and this one honestly I don't think I've ever seen a cooler t-shirt or one more up my alley ever. It is from a brand called Life Clothing which I've never heard of before but this I kind of paid a lot for a thrift store t-shirt. I paid six bucks for this but I had to have it. First off it is ombre. It's kind of like a light tan up at the top and then a grayish color at the bottom. I thought that was really neat. Around the entire circle, it has little zodiac signs, which I'm obsessed with zodiac signs, anything having to do with like the stars, all that kind of stuff, like I'm so into. And actually the whole square looks like a tarot card, which 
You guys know I'm all into that kind of stuff. And then it also has this yin yang sign in the middle, which that's another thing that I've always really liked is yin yangs. I don't know, I just really like the idea of balance and I am a Libra and I am a true Libra. I always want balance and just want everyone to get along. So yeah, I really liked that. And then on the bottom it says, see the unknown, which totally up my alley like I'm totally wearing this in my next paranormal story time video it's super comfy something like this I honestly would just wear with some black leggings this is kind of more up my alley for my everyday wardrobe I like to wear t-shirts I like to wear comfy things so I was super excited this actually I want to say this is my favorite thing in the entire thrift haul that is all the items I picked up thrifting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give this video a like if you would like to see more thrift videos. Like I said, it's a hobby of mine. I love doing it. So if that's something you guys would like to see more of, I would be glad to do more thrift hauls or thrifting videos or I don't know, thrifting tips, whatever you guys wanna see. So go ahead and like this video or comment down below to let me know. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, afternoon whatever time zone you are in right now and i will see you in my next video <laughs> it was like an evil annoying i don't even know what kind of laugh